these last couple of days and months, I've seen a lot of people, both on social media and in real life, who were depressed, who have tried committing suicide, and who have committed suicide. Now, we need to take good care of our mental health, just the same way we do to our physical health. And this has prompted me to do this video on how we can cure depression naturally without the use of drugs. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification to get notified anytime a video is dropped. And to my returning subscriber, this is me saying thank you. So, let's dive in there. Before we go deep, we need to understand what is depression. In a simple definition, depression can actually be defined as a prolonged sadness. That is, lack of interest in things you previously have interest in doing. Now, what are the possible ways we can cure depression naturally without the use of drugs? Number one on the list is exercise. You see, the antidepressant drug that we take, the only thing it does is that it helps to release two chemicals in the body. And these two chemicals are dopamine and serotonin. These two chemicals, once it is released in the body system, it helps to improve the mood. And this is the same thing. This is the same chemical that is released when we exercise our body. When exercising our body, two chemicals also is released, which is this dopamine and serotonin which helps to improve mood. So why go for antidepressant drug when you can actually get the same thing through exercise with no costs attached? Why? The second on the list is exposure to sunlight. You see, when we expose ourselves to sunlight, it actually goes a long way for our mental health. Not only our mental health, even for our bone, because we drive a vitamin called vitamin D from sunlight. Lack of sunlight can actually lead to mental illness because the same way we have external clock is the same way we have internal clock. When you go outside, even without checking your time, you can actually predict the time. You can, oh, I think we should be around 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. or I think we should be around 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is the same way our internal clocks work. Our internal clocks knows when we are to be active, when we are to be sleeping. And once this is altered, we will get to start sleeping when we are to be active. Then we will get tired when we are to be active as well. We get, and everything is just altered. This is what the internal clock does. And the only thing that can make, that can put this internal clock on the right path is exposure to sunlight. If you are the type that loves staying indoor, 5 minutes to 10 minutes of exposure to sunlight per day can really go a long way for your mental health. The third on the list is healthy sleep. Sleep actually helps to recharge our body system. Sleep is like a lamp, an electric lamp that you charge. You know how bright and how active the lamp will be after charging. This is the same thing sleep does to our body systems. We become active and agile after sleep. Seven to eight hours of sleep every day can really go a long way for us to be active and not to feel lonely and isolated. And this can help to improve our mental health and cure depression. Now we've gotten to number four of the of the points, which is thinking positively. Thinking positively does not make us active only. It makes us to be happy, and happiness can also go a long way. We need to be optimistic. We need to put anything of our past, maybe a bad thing that has happened in our past, to our past. We are human. I'm not saying we are not going to think about the past, but we shouldn't dwell on the past. Thinking positively and being optimistic can go a long way. At that period of point or at that period of time when you are moody due to what has happened in past, you can engage in things you love doing. 
if you are the type that love to play game then do that if you love listening to music then listen to one if you actually love watching movie watch one at that point it will actually up to boost your mood and you become optimistic and this can go a long way for your mental health the fifth point is for us to socialize we are human we are created to socialize we are created to bond we are created to vibe we are created to communicate we are created to talk no matter how introvert we can be we are just created to bond because through bonding there is a release of chemical called oxytocin no wonder they call oxytocin a love hormone yes oxytocin is released when we bond and this oxytocin helps to improve our mood helps to reduce anxiety so this is the main reason why we need to bond with people even if in this generation due to social media you might find it difficult doing this because you'll be like i message her on whatsapp or i chatted her up on instagram oxytocin is only released when we are face to face bond and not through chatting so you need to bond with people by doing this it can actually help to cure depression through the release of oxytocin another point is check up on others now the question is have you checked up on someone today we need to ask ourselves if we have checked up on someone today because this can actually go a long way you really don't know who is dying out there your core your words of encouragement can really go a long way to bring back life so always try as much as possible to check up on one person per day i hope you find this helpful don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified anytime a video is dropped thank you